Hi, my name is Guy Louis 16 and welcome to the world of fuse effects. The FuseFX S-Series silicone pigments are the fundamental basic of all human skin tones. Adding a few drops of the S-Series pigments to your clear silicone will give you a foundation to mimic human skin. FuseFX S-Series silicone pigments can be used in all silicone bases. A basic mix ratio is 2 drops of pigments per 10 grams of catalyzed silicone by weight. The next thing we need to find out is how many drops of pigments do we put into 300 grams of silicone. Well, here's a nice little uh, way that I figured out that's easy to count. Okay. First of all, we know in 10 grams we need 2 drops per 10 gram. Simple enough. Now say we want to have 100 grams. Okay. Now this becomes 100 so we add a zero here. So now we know we need 20 drops per 100 grams. So now if we have 300, we go 200, and then 300, and we go down here, which we now have 40 and 60. So the answer is right here. 60 drops for 300 gram. Simple enough. Before you mix your silicone, you must coat your molds with a release. Here I'm using FuseFX Royal Jelly for my mold release. For complete instructions on how to use this product, please refer to our other videos called FuseFX Royal Jelly. Or you can visit our website at www.fusefx.ca. Here we will be using Smooth-On Ecoflex 0030 silicone. Weigh out 150 grams of part A and 150 grams of part B for a total of 300 grams. FuseFX S300 Light Skin. Please shake well before using. This is my method of counting drops. I start by counting 10 drops. Then I move over and count another 10 drops. I continue this until I have 6 rows of 10 for a total of amount of 60 drops. It's okay if you miss a drop. What is important is the six rows needed to pigment the silicone. Mix well. Make sure you scrape the bottom and the sides of the container. It's not the speed of mixing, but the quality of how you mix. Here you see that the silicone is well mixed and the color is uniform. You can now slowly pour your silicone into the mold. After several hours of curing, your silicone piece is now ready to be removed.
Watch your piece under running water to remove the royal jelly solution. Making the drag test tells you that the silicone piece is clean. It's now ready to be painted. 